What is going on guys? My name is Baron Developer B and welcome back to episode 21 of the Bucket Coding Tutorial Series. And in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to make custom events. So what I mean by that is how to create your own events that are similar to, let's say, the player interact event or the sign change event. It is your own custom event where in which you can have your own variables and pretty much call it anywhere you want, just like a regular bucket event. So how are we going to do this? Well, we have to create a new class and implement some methods in there, and then we can implement it into the plugin. And how we're going to implement it is by using the warps plugin, and we're going to make a player warp event, and it is going to be called whenever a player gets teleported to another warp, we're going to call that event right there. So we're going to go ahead and need to create a new class. So we are going to call this the player warp event. and we need to make this class extend event and what this is going to do is tap into the event api and allow us to create this event so we actually need to have a variable called a handler list we're just going to call handlers there we go we need to have two variables we're going to have this which is going to return handlers and then this is going to be handler list, I believe. And then we need another one called get handlers, like so. And that is going to go ahead and complete that so far. So we're not making this static, we're just making it like so. So there we go. We have our two things for this and you have to have these in all of your events or else it's not gonna work. So just make sure you implement this and implement these two methods. So now that we're done with that, we can create our own variables. So we're gonna have a player player and a location location. And these are going to pretty much be our two variables that we give the player. We're actually gonna call this warp. And now we can go ahead and create a constructor for this player warp event. We're just gonna put player player, oops, player player and location warp. Now we can go down here and say this dot player equals player and this dot warp equals warp. And there we go. Now we can just say get player and return player. And then we can say get warp, return warp. There we go. We are done with this. So let's go ahead and check over it. So we have our variables and we have all of our necessary methods that we need. And now we are ready to call this in let's see if we can get some uses out of it so let's go down here and this is actually going to be where the player warps whenever they use the warp command so we can say bucket dot get plugin manager dot call event and we're going to call our new event which is a new player warp event and we can just say player and get location of arg and that will get the information from this command and now we can go ahead and go into the sign listener and do the same exact thing when we interact with this sign. We go ahead and say bucket dot get plugin manager dot call event and we're gonna call the new player warp event and we can say e.get player and then we can copy and paste this right here. Boom and paste it in there. There we go. So now we are successfully calling this event in two different places. So whenever these are commenced it's going to call this event and whatever's run in this event is going to be run throughout the thing so let's go ahead in here which is just a basic test listener that i set up for this so we can go ahead and call this event we're going to say at event handler and you run this like a normal event like it's just a normal bucket event but it is actually your own it's a player warp event and now we can go ahead and say e.get player which is the player dot send message and we're just going to say chat color dot green and we're going to say you successfully tapped into the player warp event so there we go let's go ahead and build this build and there we go let's go ahead and go in here and see if it works let's reload and let's go and say slash warp test. And as you can see, 
it says you successfully tapped into the player warp event which means that we use the player warp event and if we use the sign too it says you successfully tapped into the player warp event so thank you guys for watching that was a pretty basic tutorial on how to create your own custom events and these are really useful for people that want to tap into your plugin and kind of use it as an API and they will be able to manipulate what happens in the events using these uh, custom events that you make without actually like changing your code or anything so it makes it easier for outside developers to tap into what you're doing so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in episode 22.